Hi guys, Yura here. In this video, I'm going to explain to you how to create a nice sunset watercolor in three simple steps. And with no further ado, the first step is to choose a reference with high contrast between the sky and the landmass or foreground. It could be a city sunset like I'm painting in this video. Or it could be a nice sunset on the beach like the ones on the left. Step 2 is simple. Just transfer the reference to the paper. The line of contrast should be clearly visible. But step 3, the actual painting process, should be divided into two smaller steps. It is quite logical, since you have a nice line of contrast. You should paint the sky and the dark mass of the land or foreground separately. Using these three steps, you're going to be able to create simple but beautiful postcards or a more detailed painting like I'm doing here. I chose this city sunset because I want to create a series of city sunsets. This one is the second painting in the series. And if you want to watch me paint the first painting, I'm going to have a link in the description and I'm going to have a button somewhere on the screen. So don't be shy to press and enjoy that. And let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to paint and create a lesson or a tutorial for sunset painting like the ones in the reference in the beginning of this video. So if you'd like to see a sunset on the beach, let me know and I'll make it happen. And a couple of bonus tips for those who are patient. So. When you're painting foreground details, pay attention to where the brightest parts of the sky is, because the details like the poles and the trees in front of that bright spot are going to be sort of flared with light and they're not going to be as dark as the ones to the side. You see the highest pole? is not black, it's actually dark orange because there's a bright spot of the sky right behind it. The same goes for the trees which are in front of brighter parts of the sky. They're not gonna be black, the branches are not gonna be very dark. They have to be sort of a darker shade of the sky behind them. Another tip that I really like to use is concerning the trees and the branches of the trees. I regularly spread the bristle of my brushes when I paint trees. That creates a realistic looking trees because the actual trees have many, many branches, not just one, two, three thick ones. So this is pretty much it and I hope you're going to be having fun with these. And again, just to let you know, I started my art journey quite late in my life. And if I can make beautiful paintings like this, then you can do it too. Have fun, and this is why you are amazing. 